What is up my Final Fantasy 15 family? The Dark World awaits you. The biggest update to ever hit Final Fantasy 15 A New Empire is here. And we're gonna jump right into it and learn all about it. All right, so here we go. We got some really, really huge changes to the game, right? I mean, the the game just completely changed. So we're, we got a lot to talk about. We got a lot. This is gonna be this is gonna be a super long video, right? This is gonna be a super long video, and I, I hate to do long videos. So grab your popcorn, grab your soda, grab your water, grab your juice. Relax, because we got a lot to dig into. So here we go. We got hit with the Dark World, right? So let's jump into this. The Dark World awaits you. Look alive, hero. The realm's being challenged by dark empires and monsters. Lucky you. I'm never one to turn down an invitation. So I'm here to, push, to help push them back. I bought some epic advancements and dark troops. To give you a leg up in the battles to come. So we have some, it says incredible, incredible gameplay advancements, right? Oh, I keep knocking over the wire. Epic events and rewards. Earn greater rewards and exclusive prizes that will truly bolster your empire and allies. More strategic combat. We got a new hero, King Noctis. So we got to go over King Noctis. We got so much to go over. So they added a new hero called King Noctis. And we also got new troops, which are called Dark World Troops. All right, and the Moogle Market has been improved. We can collect tokens from events and get exclusive items in the Moogle Market, which is now open daily. That means there is no longer going to be that dry spot of where... The Moogle market is open for a couple days and then it disappears, right? And then it goes like, we go weeks without it opening up again. And then it comes back. So all the time now, the Moogle market will constantly be open. We got new monsters and invaders. Test your armies against dark empires and battle new monsters, right? So let's see. Uh, at the at the start of this, right, Empire Barrier. So they gave everybody an Empire Barrier boost. So everyone in the realm got a four-hour barrier boost, right? Which is which is pretty interesting, right? It's pretty weird. So then it says after you log in, a three-hour. So you have four hours, four hours after the Dark World arrives, and then they protected everybody's Empire with 48 hours or until you log in. So, okay, so this is how it went. So, everybody has a 48 hour barrier until you log in, right? So once you log in, bam. After you log in, you have a three hour empire barrier. It's crazy, right? So they're like, they're pushing this a lot. So we got the true chosen king, King Noctis. Uh, he, his, his big ability is he allows you to attack level 9 Dark World monsters. Uh, then we also have Dark World troops, which are significantly stronger than any other troop that has been available. The Dark World troops take advantage, take damage before your other troops providing protection. So think of the Dark World troops as like tanks, right? So they like they tank for everyone else. For all your other uh, warriors and troops and stuff, they just they tank. And we also have another thing, right? So now we got dark resources. So if your citadel is at, at least level 20, you can start producing dark food, dark energy, dark stone, dark metal, dark gill. So the game's getting kind of out of hand, right? Everything is just, they just keep adding new stuff. I have, a, I have a hunch, I have a hunch that since they brought us dark stuff, they're gonna bring us light stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if in the near future we get light, right? Light, light food, light energy, light stone. We get uh, light, light world uh, 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 warriors and mages and monsters and stuff. And we'll get like, uh, we'll get like uh, Queen Luna, right, as our new hero. That wouldn't surprise me. 
So they're kind of, it's the same. There's nothing really different about these troops, right? Just Dark World Warriors. And they're literally just like the regular warriors. They're just supposedly stronger. And then here we go. We got uh, King Noctis here. And uh, apparently they added some existing feature advancements. So explore your buildings, heroes, gear, research gems, and titles to see what is more powerful. So apparently they added some more stuff to make more to make things even more overpowered. And we now have Explore Your Citadel level 91 plus. So the game's getting pretty crazy. And uh, new and improved Moogle Market open daily. So the Moogle Market is really, really weird now, right? It's really different. Like we got so much stuff to go in. I should probably make like individual videos, but instead I'll just do one big long video. So there's a bunch of different credits. So it's no longer just like one credit, right? So we got new Dark World Moogle Market credits to buy everything your heart desires. You have more ways to earn the credits by participating in events and attacking Dark World monsters or Dark World empires. Uh, so these are some of the exclusive items, but we're gonna go into the we're gonna go into the market and I'm gonna show you, right? So I don't even know what we should start with. There's just so much to start with. And then we got these two. We got dark empires and dark monsters. This is what the empires look like, and I'll show you on the map too. And uh, the only really way to attack these is with dark troops, right? You can attack it with regular troops, but they don't really do much. It's like you have to have you have to attack these with dark world troops in order to really get any big advantage from it, right? So, all right, let's let's get into this. So, um, oh, another thing they also gave us was they gave us this max hero MP multiplier bonus. So all the uh, all our heroes have maximum MP buffs right now. And then we have this infuse your troops with dark energy, granting them additional combat strength. So if we go over here to your uh, training grounds, we see it says troops, and then we have dark troops, right? So if we go over to troops, here's our regular troops. Uh, we have up to C10 right now. And then if we go over to Dark Troops, here's our Dark Troops. So they gave us this for free. They gave us Dark Rangers. They gave us 3 million Dark Rangers. Um, but then aside from those, we have Dark Cav, Dark Mage, Dark Warriors. So if you click on this, all right, so they all require Dark stuff, right? So you need Dark Stone. Uh, you need uh, all the Dark stuff, right, in order to craft these. Now, if we look at the stats... The stats are kind of the stats are kind of weird, right? So the, it says the attack is only one, the defense is only one, the HP is only one, and the speed is three, right? So it's kind of confusing because you're like, okay, how is a Dark Ranger that only has one attack and one defense? How is that stronger than a, a T5? You know, that has five attack and five defense. So it's it's really weird the way they did this. You know, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to run some tests and see. But I don't know how much stronger really the dark troops are because they're they have them at very low stats, right? They're very, very low stats. And if we go over here to Dark Cab, it's the same thing. They're only ones. They're only at ones. So it's almost like it's almost like these dark troops. These are like like level one dark troops in a sense. I feel like they're gonna give us, there's gonna be T2 dark troops, tier three dark troops, tier, you know what I mean? You see the pattern they're going with? They're they're very like, they are trying to keep it simple and slightly change it, you know, to be a little lazy on the like creative side. So basically instead of just giving us T11, T12, you know what I mean? And just keep going on with that. They're giving us these same thing, but they're just putting dark, the word the word dark in front of it. And they're starting it off at one. But apparently they're supposed to be stronger than the other troops. Right? So it's weird. And uh, we also got dark gemstones, right? So dark gemstones is the next thing. So we got gold, platinum, diamonds, and now dark gemstones is the next like currency to acquire. 
Um, let me go show you guys some stuff right now. So here are the monsters. This, this guy's like in the way. So we got some, they got, so here's the, here's these dark monsters. This is a level nine. You need King Noctis in order to attack this level nine. Uh, let's see, we got some level nines. There's, there's some other ones. There's uh there's a level nine, geez, where's the level eights? There's, they got level eights. They got a whole bunch of different ones. Here's are the, he, these are the outposts, right? These are the Dark Empire. This is a reinforced Dark Empire level one. And uh, shows you level one. This is how many Dark Empire mercenary troops are in here. Now, if you go over to reinforced Dark Outpost level one, it's the same thing. And just attacking these will get you the Dark Tokens for the uh, Mughal Market. So here we go. Here's a level five. Now, we can attack this one. This is, this is gonna give us a dark token, right? So I'm gonna, you can only hit it once. Do not max attack these, because these are very, very weak. Uh, one attack will completely destroy it. 100% watch. I will attack it once. And it's an instant kill. It's an instant kill every time. Now, if we go to, oh, we got some mail to read. We go over here. One hit, critical hit, and this is what we got. We got Dark World Monster Moogle Market Credits, and we got a treasure. So that's pretty cool, right? But there's there's a, there's all different ones. So they have some lower level ones for us to hit, right? So if you don't have the level eight or level nine unlocked, you can still search around here and you can find like some level fives and sixes they have laying around. They're just kind of hard to find, right? Because it's just it's just a sea, it's just a sea of bubbles because they gave everyone free bubbles, right? So now if we look at where are we gonna go to next? Let's let's go to the Moogle Market. They changed the Moogle Market around, alright? So remember before the Moogle Market used to be right here for us. They put the uh, the Moogle uh, rewards over here now. And they moved the Moogle Market over here. So the Moogle Market is now, they switched them. They flip-flopped them. All right, so it still said, it still has an end date, but they said it's supposed to be open all the time. So they got a lot of tabs. We got a lot of tabs to go through. So here we go. We got Dark World Limited Time Moogle Market Credits. So these are specific credits that you can use this with. And we have everything from Dark World Gems, uh, that increase your Dark World attack, uh, XP for King Noctis, uh, resources, Dark March speed ups, Dark Rally March speed ups. So they literally made it so that in order to fully utilize the, the Dark Troops, you literally need to have Dark everything. So it's almost like the game was like dying in a sense, right? And what they what what their plan was to to bring the game back is they implemented this whole dark thing. So they they wanted to make it the dark world, right? So now the game is supposed to be refreshed, and it's almost like starting over, right? <laughs> it's almost like starting over because now it's it's just a whole new thing, and you need literally everything brand new in order to to utilize the dark stuff. And they got some uh, avatars in here for us. Now we go to the next one, Monster Rewards. The Monster Rewards are now different. So in this one, you need Dark World Monster Moogle Market Credits in order to buy from the Monster Rewards one. And you get this from hitting the uh, hitting the Dark Monsters. So you got Research Tomes, uh, Mage Gems, other stuff, more XP. It's literally pretty much the same stuff. It's literally a lot of this is the same stuff that you can get from here, just slightly a little different. Dark Empire rewards. These credits are the credits that you get from hitting the Dark Empires. And again, it's it's literally like if you look over, it's pretty much pretty much the same, very very similar. This has got the calves, calf gemstones. This is one. This one has the mage gemstones. This one has the warrior gemstones. But other than that, they all have very similar stuff. Uh, leaderboard rewards so in order to get these moogle market tokens you have to be the uh you have to be on the leaderboard and if you're on the leaderboard then you'll get these moogle market credit tokens and you can use over here so literally every tab has its own 
different credit. It's really, it's really weird. Like, it's really, I don't know. I personally don't like it. All right, so now in order to buy this stuff, you need Dark World Event Moogle Market Credits. See, and it's literally like a lot of this is the same. It's just some of it's a little different, but a lot of it's the same. And then we have Dark World Legendary Moogle Market Credits, right? So these are legendary. <laughs> and it just, it just keeps going on. It just keeps going on like this, guys. And we got Alliance Rewards, right? You get guild Moogle Market credits for like doing things with your guild. You'll get these credits unlocked. And then we have just dark rewards. So dark Moogle Market credits. It's it's weird. And then we have Moogle rewards. Now this is the regular, straight up regular Moogle Market credits. This has got some good stuff in it. We got some cool gems. Uh, what I like is this. I like the VIP. I've been killing it with the VIP. This is like a billion VIP points for 200. I've been like, I jumped my VIP, my super VIP went up a lot because of this. This has got some good stuff. We got hero chances. Uh, we got hero skill resets. Uh, we have our um, Shiva, Leviathan, our all our different uh, power-ups for them. Uh, even level two power-ups. So that's it. It's, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I, I, I like you need specific to like. There's just, they're just adding like they're making it more complicated than it needs to be, right? Like you need certain tokens to buy this, certain tokens to buy this, certain to like everything is individually instead of like having it all together. So it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. All right, so let's go check out our new hero now. Here he is, King Noctis, level one. Starts out at level one. Uh, he has a hero and a mastery, so we'll check out his hero first. Uh, level one, dark troop armor. This is gonna give you dark troop armor. Uh, it, his, the thing that I don't like is, if you look at his skill, it's very, very similar to the regular Noctis' skill tree, right? It's very, very similar. It's got a lot of the same stuff. They just kind of tried to like make it look different, even though it's really not, right? Like the it it's it, it, I don't know. Dark troop armor is just troop armor, right? Regular Noctis has that. Dark food production, dark research speed, warrior attack. Uh, this is the only one that's different, right? Monster tactics, dark monsters. So this one will let you attack, I believe, the level 9, right? Uh, unlocks the ability to attack dark monsters while King Noctis is active. See, this doesn't make any sense because I'm able to attack... I'm already able to attack dark monsters. So I think this unlocks the level 9, but I'm not sure. What else we have is they got mage attack, dark energy production, King Noctis attack versus the, uh, one of the dark monsters, uh, the Havoc. So this just basically increases the attack, but I'm already, like, you guys already seen me one-shot the monsters as it is. So I don't, like, this doesn't make any sense really to me. Like, I can already just kill them with one attack. So, I mean, in the future, maybe they'll make them stronger. Uh, we have dark training time reductions, dark troop march size, dark stone production, dark rally size, dark food upkeep. Dark troop health, dark metal protection, dark guilt. Like, it's just a lot of the same stuff over and over. Dark crystal holding health. It just, it doesn't seem, it seems lazy to me. It seems lazy to me. Like this is all recycled and they just threw the word dark in front of it. And we go to the mastery. And the mastery is kind of the same. Increase dark troop attack, increase dark troop armor, increase dark troop health. So there's nothing really special here either, right? So I don't know about this. This is like, this update is kind of, kind of weird. And we also have our dark troop hospital capacity, which is very, very low. This only holds 10,000 dark troops. 
Um, did they add anything in the mercenaries? I don't think they added anything in the mercenary side. Monster troops are still the same. Um, what else did I want to show you guys? Oh, we got research. <laughs> we got, with new troops comes new research, right? Like, there's just so much, like... So, uh... I don't even... Did I ever... I, did I ever go over this? We have the Astrals. I think this has been here for a while. We have the Astral Research. Uh, we have this thing called... They added... The, they added. The, I think these are the three new ones. Dark Combat, Research Rewards, and Dark Economics. So, uh, Dark Combat is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, this is unlocked for free. I did not... I did not do this. This was already like this when I started the... When I... Up, like I don't want to say updated the game, but when I signed into the game, I already had this unlocked. So this lets you do the whole dark troops, right? But like you need to unlock this, like in order to in order to really have them. So empowers your troops with the power of dark world, grants bonuses that you need to start building your empire. So it, basically, it just gives you uh, like march sizes. Uh, your rally capacity and your hospital capacity. So it's like the the way they're doing this is really weird, right? So all right, so we have dark calves. In order to unlock these, we need a dark world. We need unlock dark dark world troop research. Like we need the research tombs for this. So it's it's a lot of I don't know. I'm kind of. I don't say I'm, I'm getting tired of the game, but I'm just kind of like, I'm not playing it like I like I do. You know what I mean? Like I'm not wasting hours on this game. I play this casually at this point because the way they keep just throwing these like ridiculously like lazy updates at us, where they're literally just re reskinning and adding a new name in front of it. I'm just kind of like I'm not like gonna spend all my time trying to you know unlock all this stuff. I just play the game casually at this point, but I love to make these videos for you guys. We got Dark Attack March Speed, Dark Cat, and this is all the same, just bonuses, right? Just buffs. This is all just buffs, so it won't let me go down anymore. Um, and then we have Research Rewards, uh, Dark Troop March Size. Again, like when you click on this, you need Chrono Research Reward Tomes. In order to unlock this. And this is all the same too. We got Dark Training Speed 1. Uh, just This is all just stuff to increase your dark stuff, right? This is literally all this stuff that we already had with just the word dark in front of it. <laughs> That's all they did. That's all they did. They literally recycled all of this. And they just threw the word dark in front of it. It's literally all the same stuff that we already have for our regular troops. Uh, dark troop armor This one this one's easy you just need you just need the resources and they already gave us some resources uh, And then this is all the same just increase your your productions and everything So there's one thing that bothers me that they that uh, that I don't like that they did So if we go over to our treasures, right? Uh so, so this is a this is a big change, right? So here we go. Let, let me show you what happens, right? So they gave us a lot of this stuff, and uh, my my guild did some events. We got to go through the events too. But here we go. We got a Dark World Rally Speed Up Guild gift. Now watch what happens when I open this. That's it. It's just it's it's placed into your inventory. What is placed into my inventory though? You know what I mean? When I when you click on it. They don't show you what you get from the treasure chest anymore. So you're kind of like, wait, what? I, I don't like that at all. And it's for all of them, right? So here we go. This is supposed to give us tombs, right? If I click open it, how many did I get? You know what I mean? I don't even know how many I got. I just opened it and it just says, oh, it was put in my inventory. It does not tell me how many I got from opening that one. It's kind of shady. I don't know. It's kind of shady. It's almost like they can manipulate how much you get, you know, without you really knowing. It, it's shady. It's really shady. You click it, and I don't know how much I got. It's weird. I don't like it. 
You know what I mean? I don't I don't like what they did with that. It's all it's all look resources. I clicked open. How much resources did I get? I don't even know. It's it's weird. They're they're really they're really doing weird stuff to this game. Uh, the hero unlocks are all the same. They haven't updated that. Like see see how I open this up and it tells me what I got. So okay, I know that I got this. They they don't do that for the uh, for the dark stuff. All the dark treasure chests, we you open them and you don't know, you don't know what you get. I don't like it. I don't like it. Like I can open this up, right? I open these up. Oh, okay. I know how much I got. This is what I got from that. Okay, cool. But then when you go to open one of these, what did you get? I don't even know. <laughs> So that I don't like. I don't I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That's like I don't know. It's not something I really I think I, I don't like that they did that. I think you should still see what you get. Uh now let's go to the events. So the events are, are pretty crazy. We got Dark Troop T1 training event. So just for training your dark troops, tier uh, tier one or a dark ranger. Uh, and this has got the tokens, right? So you got Dark World Limited Time Moogle Market Credits. You got the Dark World uh, Moogle Market Credits. And then you got the Event Credits. And it's the same thing. All the way down. They just give you more credits. Uh, King Noctis Hero Event is pretty much the same. Like, level him up and engage you with monsters. And again, this will give you the tokens that you need. Uh, we got some uh, Dark March Speed Ups. XP bo boosts, uh, some gems, and more tokens. Uh, combat research is the same thing. Upgrade your combat research, right? To just un and then you just unlock tokens. Uh, then you have your Dark World Invasion event, which is to uh, kill Dark Empire mercenaries in the uh, the uh, Empire, the Dark World Empire invasion. And this is all the same. You just get these tokens. So it's it's and then and then we have a guild one, right? So this is guild. This is for your whole guild as a as a guild. Uh, my guild killed it. My guild killed it. So I got all these bonuses, right? I got all this. I got all this. And I got all this. And all this. It's pretty good. But I don't, I just don't, like I said, I don't like how when you open one of the Dark World treasure chest things, it doesn't tell you what you get, right? So you don't know what you get. Let me check out, they've been messing the game up a lot lately too. I got a lot, I got a lot of mail I want to show you guys, right? So, so I got, a, I got some, I got some mail from the devs. So it says, some realms were incorrectly informed that they were receiving a merge RVR. I can confirm that your realm should not have received this notice. We apologize for any confusion this may have caused. So they got some weird stuff going on back here. I don't know what they're up to. And it gets better, right? So so this is the free stuff that they gave us for the Dark World. Uh, oh, damn. I think I deleted it. They uh, they kept messing up with the, with the MP, right? Apparently, people's magic points weren't doubled in the uh, in the hundred percent, like the realm. Like, uh, see this? Apparently, this wasn't really active, right? So what they did was they kept giving us they kept giving us free MP. So that's why when you guys see in my inventory, they gave me because uh, the devs said there was like a problem with the MP. So what they did was they gave me, as you guys can see when I was scrolling through, they gave me, look at this, they gave me all this. <laughs> they gave me all this choose, like this all came from the devs because I kept getting it for free because they kept saying, oh, there's a problem with the, the MP and we're investigating it and we're sorry. And then, and then they did it again. So I got like 20 of them from them. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> But uh, I just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this update. I, uh, I don't know how I feel about this update, really. 
so here you go. You got dark food. Produce it. I mean, I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to go and change all of my stuff to produce the dark stuff now. Because it's almost like the regular stuff is pointless now. The way they keep, like, changing the game, I just... Like, I have, I have all the resources. I, I'm not really a 74. I could definitely be a lot higher than 74. I just, I'm not playing the game like that. I'm kind of taking it slow. Taking it really slow. And I'm just, like, once in a while, like... Once every day, I'll do a building upgrade, and that's about it. I'm not, like, I have I have tons of resources to go at least to 80. So it's, it's I, don't, I just, I don't know how I feel about this new update. I just don't know how I feel. It's, a lot of this stuff, it just feels lazy and recycled. And I feel like they could have did something different, right? I feel like they could have... feel like they could have did something more. But... I don't know, man. I don't know, guys. Guys, girls, everybody, I don't know. I just... I just don't... Like, I'm not a fan of this. And I don't like the... I don't like how they did the Moogle Market either. I really don't like how they did the Moogle Market. So, what else did I want to go over? There was was there something else I wanted to talk about? Oh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. What else? I feel like there was something else that I missed. What is this? I recently learned that astrals weren't being properly protected by Dark World Rangers. I've taken steps to resolve this and Rangers will now properly defend your astrals. See, again, they messed up and they're giving me all this loyalty and astral health <laughs> it's crazy but uh yeah i don't like uh, this this feels outdated already the diner just came out this feels outdated already they gave us they gave us this for free this feels like it's useless this feels like it's nothing <laughs> like it, it, it's so weird like Everything just keeps getting power creeped out so fast. That's the problem. That's the biggest problem with the game is they keep power creeping everything out so fast. Where stuff that was good a week ago is no longer good because they just released something better. So it's crazy. Like I said, I will I will I will preach it forever. Do not do not buy any of these packs. Don't waste your money. Do not waste your money on this stuff. Because in a week, it's going to be like, it's going to be worth nothing. <laughs> but thank you, my friends, for checking out my video and hanging out with me and uh, watching this. And uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. How do you guys feel about this dark world change? If, it, if it's happening to you, let me know. And if it's not, if you're in a, a, a newer realm that hasn't had this yet, this is what you guys got to look forward to. Just preparing you guys. But uh, until then, I, uh, I don't know. I just, I don't like it. I'm kind of, I don't like it. But thank you guys for watching. For real. You guys are awesome. We're almost at, we are almost at 200. 100 subscribers you guys are freaking amazing i am so grateful for all, all of you that keep hit, coming through and hitting that sub button i'm just you guys are awesome like i remember i remember just not too long ago making videos and i was like oh my god i'm gonna hit, hit my first 100 subscribers and now we about to hit our first now we about to hit 200 subscribers you guys are awesome for real but uh, I will see y'all in my next video or I will see y'all in my next live stream because I live stream on Twitch Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern. My friends, please pistol whip that like button for me and join the Pistol Nation. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Ding the bell for notifications so you know when these videos go live. You guys are awesome. I love y'all. I love y'all. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. This game is crazy, but I love making these videos for you guys. I love it. I love it. I'll see y'all later. Peace.